Welcome to Dr. Just Runs, and I'm gonna rant about another stupid thing that Disney has done. Or will do. Right, from CBR. Disney Junior's Ariel series unveils first look at Ursula and King Triton. That's something that we have known that they were going to do after the movie flopped. Yes, it was a flop. It, it, I think it... If anything, I think it barely covered their, uh, their production values. Or not values. Jesus Christ. English sometimes is so damn hard. They fall up production costs because... Remember, the theaters take up at least 50% of the of the money they got. <clears throat> of that total amount of the movie, movie made, 50 for the theaters. Then you have to separate that between the production costs that cost the movie. Um, let's, uh, I think it was 300 million. And then you actually have to add from that at least 200 or 300 for the marketing. And we know that they did a lot of marketing for this movie. We saw it everywhere. And it was still a piece of shit. So they needed to make at least a billion to make a profit out of this. But anyway, here we have Disney Juniors unveils the first look of Amber Riley's Ursula and Ty Diggs King Triton for the new animated series Ariel. I need to actually update on my woke washing list. As you can see here, well, it's still apparently loading. There you go. I need to add them to this one. Because apparently it takes a bit of a. You'll never learn, really. What I do have here is Once Upon a Time, a series, and uh, it needs another one. Because uh, <clears throat> there's another Ursula coming. And you can see it's not technically a representing of how they actually look. Not only on the movie, not only on the cartoon, not only on the book. No, it really don't represent anything even close to it. Plus, this one is technically an actual revisionism, because this is actually taking Triton, an actual Greek deity that actually represents, well, thousands upon years ago, an actual religion with a very specific look. This is just bad, Disney. I, I ex oh, wait, I was going to say expected more of you, but then I realized... No, I don't. I really don't. But before I continue, I'm ranting. Here's a trailer. thing that I do remember as a kid, uh, when I was, uh, well, a kid, I would actually compare the cartoons that would come out on Cartoon Network and other things like that, uh, compare it to the movie that I saw in the cinema, like Ace Ventura. I would uh, definitely like to see the characters that you usually see on the cartoon and on the movie that they do relatively match. 
sometimes you would obviously get new characters that um, were part of the cartoon but do not appear on the movie albeit the for instance you got the mask which was well also one of my favorite cartoons it probably had characters that were present in the comic which i never read so i cannot even say if they really were there but there were characters in there that were never present on the movie like the guy i forgot his name but he would say mental note and then a note into how he failed and not to repeat it itself or again he would actually have a movable head i love that little gimmick it was pretty funny but now now it seems the cartoons don't don't even fucking match the movie that they are being based on or based upon and here we have, obviously, Ursula not even actually matching the actual actress, not even Triton, which, granted, the movie was utter piece of fucking garbage, but at the very fucking least, they did actually match the actual cartoon, well, animated movie character, which, at the very least, it was good. Here. Here we have the original uh, image of the animated movie that came out in the 90s, thereabouts. This is Triton. You could see that they actually relatively tried to do it with on the movie itself, with Triton. It kind of at least looked its part, albeit he looked like he was way too dry to actually be under the sea. But the details, because apparently they wasted more effort actually doing it. The hairdo of the fish person, you know, the Cthulhu worshipper, Haley Bailey, than to actually invest on a special effect to make the guy look like he was on the water. But, uh, small details that nobody seems to care at Disney. Here's Ursula. Fascinating. Because at least, at the very least, they managed to find someone fat enough and do her makeup to actually match the character at the very least they did that but now now we're getting something utterly different she doesn't even have her bluish tint grayish purplish tint that it's a representative of someone who really really lives deep on the water we, we don't even get that plus plus there was another point that I wanted to make in this, and I necessarily forgot. Oh, God. This thing is definitely eating my goddamn fucking neurons. Ah, it's just reeks of absolute failure. And I'm pretty sure that definitely Ariel is going to be representative of the one in the movie, not like these characters here. Ah, but even more so... Uh, the the ride, the Little Mermaid ride at Disney World, they actually replace, replaced it from the car, from the animated movie, which is way more memorable than this garbage that came out with the new actress in there. Makes total sense, doesn't it? Total sense. Disney, this movie is going to be forgotten or labeled as one of the biggest epic failures we ever made in the future. But your animated movie that you released in the 90s and thereabouts was actually way more memorable. People still remember the characters from that animated movie. If you place it one of the characters from an animated movie, from The Little Mermaid, you're still going to remember who they were, who they represented, or at least, at the very least, you're going to know, ah, that character came from The Little Mermaid movie, not this goddamn fucking utter garbage. Oh, now I remember the point I wanted to make. Why is the goddamn fucking Ursula looking adorable? Ursula is supposed to be evil, an evil type of witch. Something of utter evilness. Why are you trying to make it like, oh my god, she's so adorable. Are you goddamn fucking retarded, Disney? Yeah, wait, no, that's a rhetorical question. Yes, Disney is definitely retarded. What? What way they goddamn fucking thinking? Apparently, they weren't. 
Ah, fuck me. For someone to represent evil, to look like... Uh... Hey, I think I understand what they're going through. Their thought pattern here. It's the actual trope of the latest woke garbage. That evil is just a misunderstood good guy. Yeah. I think that's exactly what they're going, uh, going for in here. Well, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night. And Jesus Christ, another failure for the little mermaid.